This is ETV, sponsored locally by the Boise Weekly, Radio Boise, and KBOI-TV Channel 2. Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. This weekend at the movies, you've got your choice of a high-minded political thriller or fighting robots. The choice is yours, and here's Sean McBride, the movie guy, to tell you more. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Real Steel? Real Steel is the story of a down-and-out boxer who gets a second shot at glory thanks to his idealistic young boy and the science fiction concept that in the future, there will be a robot boxing league. That's right, this is basically Rock'em Sock'em Robots turned into a movie. I need you to teach you in a box. Are you kidding me? You know this fight game inside and out. We need your moves, your commands. Uh I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Now, it's a bit of a silly concept, but this father and son drama benefits from a feel-good premise, plus the robot fighting special effects are quite good. Young boys will love it. I've worked on more campaigns than most people have, but by the time they're 40, he's the only one that's going to actually make a difference in people's lives. You are working for the wrong man. I want you to work for us. Grown-ups will gravitate towards The Ides of March, a political thriller that tells the story of a presidential campaign press secretary who finds himself at the center of a political scandal that could derail his candidate's shot at the White House. With a superb A-list cast and a torn-from-the-headline script, The Ides of March is must-see entertainment for political junkies and all adults who enjoy solid dramas. I'll do or say anything if I believe in it, but I have to believe in the cause. And that's what's new with the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. And joining us now, Sean McBride, the movie guy. You know, good stuff this week. Not great, but good. Uh, you know, I, I think that the best of the bunch this week, uh, particularly if you're a thinking adult, is got to be uh, re, uh, the Ides of March. Excuse me. Uh, Ryan Gosling, George Clooney, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Paul Giamatti, Marissa Torme. I mean, that is an incredible cast. And just a, a good film, particularly if you're looking for something with some meat in it, some drama, but also something to think about. A nice political thriller, screenplay that's very smart and sort of feels like it's ripped out of the headlines. You know, I, I just think, you know, people that want quality dramas with meat in them will have a, you know, have a lot of fun at the Ides of March. Now, of course, if you're a younger kid, uh, let's say, you know, a 13-year-old boy, then, uh, then obviously your choice is going to be real steel, which is, you know, it's a Disney film, so it's got a strong father and son bonding message. But let's face it, you're there for the fighting robots, and the robots are great, good special effects. Yeah, that's the one to see if you're a kid, real steel. And what's going on at the flicks? Over at the flicks, uh, two new films this time. Uh, the first one is Cave of Forgotten Dreams, which is Werner Herzog's documentary. It explores the ancient cave paintings in, uh, in an inaccessible cave in France. Um, you know, one of the, some of the earliest uh, paintings that the world's ever seen, so that's pretty cool. And then also Restless, which is Gus Van Stant's Sant's love story about two young people who meet at a funeral. Um, it's got a quirky twist or two, including a Japanese samurai ghost who shows up. It's kind of interesting. So, yeah. uh, so Cave of Forgotten Dreams and Restless over at the Flix. Sounds good. DVDs? DVDs, you know, I'd, I'd argue that there's only one really notable film, and that is Fast Five, which, uh, which surprised a lot of us, because most of us have thought that uh, Fast and the Furious franchise had sort of died and yeah. petered out. Fast Five was pretty good. Uh, well, let me take that back. There's also the, um, the Blu-ray edition of The Lion King also comes out this week. So uh, two options, but the rest of it is, uh, you know, Scream 4 to really care. So. <laughs> and then local theater? Over at the local theater, the big new opener this week is the Rocky Horror Show nice. over at Stagecoach Theater. You, you know, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the movie oh, yeah. that uh, in our youth we probably went to and we threw, uh, you know, popcorn and rice and all that stuff and had a lot of fun. It's a, it's a theater piece now. Um, it's, you know, it's just so much fun to go do the time warp with the actors. And oh, yeah. So uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, or Rocky Horror Show, uh, the musical, that's over at uh, the Stagecoach Theater. That uh, starts this weekend, and then starting the next weekend after that, there are three Saturday night midnight shows. So if you want to really go for it, go see the midnight shows. Um, hey, they're in yet another new location. So go to 710 North Orchard. That's uh, right next to Cone's Cover. Um, so new location, look for it, but uh, Rocky Horror, you got to love it. Um, uh, that's Stagecoach Theater. Tickets and information at 342-2000 or stagecoachtheater.com. Uh, we told you about this also. Uh, Tara mentioned Shipwrecked, The Amazing Adventures of Louis de Rougemont uh, by Donald Margulies. Um, that is October 5th through the 29th at Boise Contemporary Theater. bctheater.org or 331-9224. 
Uh, don't forget, Oklahoma over at Knock'em Dead Theater. That runs through the 29th of this month. Tickets and information, 385-0021 or kedproductions.org. And then finally, uh, Twilight over at Prairie Dog Theater. Tickets and information, uh, call 336-PEAT. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sean. Okay. Well, stick around. More ETV coming up right after this. <laughs>